All right, we're here with Nate Moses, a thrower on the Concordia track and field team. Nate's the reigning NAI outdoor discus champion and a three-time NAI All-American, but he's also a multi-talented musician, as you might see by the cello in his hands. Uh, Nate plays the cello, guitar, and sings. Uh, Nate, you said you're a little rusty at the cello, but yeah. you said you can improvise for us a little bit. Can yeah, you? I can give you a little imp improvisation. All right, um, go for it. <laughs> Well, I wanted to ask you, how did you first get started in music as a kid? Um, well, my mom was also a musician. Uh, before she had me and my sister, she was actually on track to have a scholarship for music. And she just wanted to pass on her love for music onto us. So, mm -hmm. so was it a big part of your childhood then? It was, a, it was a pretty big part of my childhood. Growing up in the church, um, music's a big part of Pentecostal and uh, churches, so uh, I learned to love music through that, and also I learned to love music the the second I picked up a cello and I started in the choir, it just kind of, my the flame of my music passion just grew. Mm -hmm. How much do you get to play now? I don't get to play that much. I Honestly, I haven't really picked up a cello in about two years since I left Fresno City College because uh -huh. I kind of made the decision that I wanted to be a track athlete mm -hmm. and be as good as at that as possible. Um, so my music dreams have kind of been left in the dust, but I still love to pick it up every once in a while. Uh-huh. Well, and I mean, music and sports can be related. Like, Kobe tweeted out a picture of him <laughs> playing the piano after Lakers lost this season. I mean, I don't know if you use music that way, but how would you say your music side and your athletic side interact? Yeah, well, uh, it interacts all the time because um, a lot of people don't realize, but discus and shot put and all the throwing events have a lot to do with rhythm and mm -hmm. timing and I feel like I have a one-up on a lot of my competitors that didn't have the music background mm -hmm. because I know about rhythm and timing and letting things develop by themselves like as they say play the pauses like let things wait um, and because of that like music is intertwined in sports obviously you've seen those montages where you, you watch the play by itself and it's like oh that's a really good play and all of a sudden they put some music to it and all of a sudden it's the most epic play you've ever seen <laughs> yeah. but it's kind of the same thing and also uh i don't know music gets me going before track meets and after like at the olympic trials i was like really bummed because my goal for the trials was to make finals and i got 14 so i was two spots out of finals and I was just sitting in the tent uh, with all the other competitors after my competition and I was just sitting there and I was really bummed at myself and I had my headphones on and then the song by Ellie Golden Lights came on and for some reason that uplifted my mood and I was able to, you know, be myself after that again. Mm -hmm. Well, I did want to ask you about your preparation for each throw. Uh, I mean, sounds like music plays a part in that even. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Preparing to throw, like, there's, it depends on what meet you're at, but uh -huh. there's, like, actual rules to having, like, electric devices oh, okay. on the field at certain times, but when you're warming up, you're usually allowed to use your headphones and things like that, so uh -huh. I actually usually, I use my theory that, um, of music where uh, a different tone of music can uplift you in a different way or bring you down in a different way, so instead of listening to country, I'll listen to, like, hardcore rock, like some, uh, like some Lamb of God or some Disturbed or, and then I'll listen to some uh, uplifting hip hop that will also get me in the rude mood, like um, like Royce, um, Royce's song, Can't Nobody Stop Me, like that usually uh -huh. gets me in the mood because then it, it gets you in the right mindset. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking on track a little bit, uh, you were all conference in the discus, shot put, and hammer last season. Mm -hmm. uh, but you won the NAI Outdoor Championship in the discus and competed in the discus at the Olympic Trials, yeah. US Olympic Trials, like you said. Uh, what is it about the discus over the other events? Like, what do you like about it? What, <laughs> what is, uh, lets you, I mean, gives you that little extra edge, I guess. Um, well, I've been throwing the discus for a long time, just like I started the, about the same time I started playing music, actually, mm -hmm. um, around the fourth grade, when a lot of my development as a person started happening. And... It was just 
there is it's the willingness to prepare that makes me different from a lot of other athletes because a lot of anybody compete and everybody wants to win but I go out to every practice every single day ready to prepare to win that competition and a lot of times it's just like maybe like UFC fighters you got one or two fights a year I'm mm -hmm. only training for one or two competitions a lot of time a year right and the rest of the year I'm just it's my mindset is to get to those competitions and to do the best I can so I don't know I just feel like it's the drive and almost like the musicians mentality because like a lot of times uh, when I played music, we'd only have like two or three concerts a semester. Uh -huh. So you practice every single day for yeah. those two or three concerts, and then you come back next semester and you learn music, new music to do the same thing. You just mm -hmm. have to have that mentality. Mm -hmm. Well, that was one thing I wanted to ask about. Since like, I mean, the competition's so concentrated for yeah. you know the throws. I mean, that just drives me crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously you seem to handle it pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Well, some people say, like, your career is defined, like, most people only think of track and field as at the Olympics. Uh -huh. Well, if you make it to the Olympics one time, then your career is defined by three or six throws. Right, yeah. And as a person, you're like, you get to that situation, and you're like, what am I going to do? This is, <laughs> this is the three throws that are going to define my career. But uh, me, I'm just like, I do this every day. It's the same thing. It's like, it's like throwing a football and catching it to a, for a quarterback and a wide receiver it becomes second nature. So mm -hmm. I just, that's the goal is to make it second nature. So even when those nerves come in, you, you can do it easily. Mm -hmm. Well, it has to help to have your event coach, Matt Wilkins, a former world record holder in the discus. Yeah. I, I guess what has, what has Mac helped you with since you've gotten to Concordia? Um, the, I want to say mainly the mindset. Like I had the confidence, which my other coach Kent Pagel uh, installed in me, and he just helped with the just the preparation and the mindset. Like mm -hmm. and somebody that's been there that that really helps because they can tell you how it is and what you have to prepare for and because there's a lot of distractions as people read in the news at mm -hmm. the at things like the Olympic trials and the world championships and the Olympics so you have to prepare for things because nothing can get you ready for that mm -hmm. except somebody that's actually been there right well and finally you'll be registering this outdoor season to focus on uh, possibly competing at the US Nationals and possibly you know making the team for worlds uh, what goals have you set for yourself in the outdoor season? Well, my goals for the outdoor season are I want to get as close as possible to the BRA standard, which is 64 and 66 meters. So that would be like about uh, a high three meter PR to like a five meter PR, which uh, I think is very possible because last year I didn't really throw an indie wind dated meets which mm -hmm. really wind really helps the discus so I think sure. if I get in one windy meet then I could I can have a big PR and my other goal is to is to I want to place top eight at the at the US uh -huh. ATF nationals and that's another goal like if you have to place top three to make the team but I feel like I placed 14 this last year, if I can place top eight, then I'll just be one stepping stone closer each time mm -hmm. to my ultimate goal of making the Olympic team. Cool. Well, best of luck towards that, and best Thank of luck you. to the at the NAI Indoor Nationals coming up next weekend. Thank you. Uh, finally, can you play us out with a song on the guitar? Sure. Um, the song was written by my friend Rick Marr, actually. Huh. Um, one of my buddies back in Fresno, and I really like it. I play it all the time. It kind of makes me feel better. So cool. Um, Why can't I have her? Why can't